الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر سميع العليم من الشيطان اللعين الرجيم من همزه ونفكه ونفسه بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلاة وسلاما الأتمان الأكملان على خير ولد عدنان نبي الإنس والجان الذي جاءنا بالكتاب كشمس في دحاها وجاءنا بالسنة كالقمر إذا تلاها فمن عمل بهما عاش في نور النهار إذا جلاها ومن أعرض عنهما تخبط في ظلمة الليل إذا يغشاها uh, our most uh, honored the chief host of this uh, august and a very important program I mean inshallah al-kareem our sheikh the founder and chairman of al-bab uh, islamic da'wah foundation the person of sheikh hadiyatullah abdul ghani kajwala uh, popularly known and called imam nisa imam nisa means every other masjid where you go and have all the imams everybody had their own uh, followership and the a uh, congregation mainly men but in his own peculiarity the imam of women that's a significant a milestone not only in abuja it's a recognition allah has given to him worldwide i greet him the best of salutation i extend that warm uh, regard to all our bot members of this uh, very august and a jannah prone uh, organization i extend the same warm regard to the loc or the committee starting with the responsibility of organizing this uh, program all the members of alba and worldwide inshallah kareem from the bottom of my heart coming from the word of allah and word of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam i say to you all assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen The theme for this Ramadan pre-lecture is Ramadan, the month of a revelation of the glorious Quran And the topic given to me, inshallah Kareem Is Ramadan, the month of fasting, plan, strategy and optimization MashaAllah, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Giving thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Ramadan is a blessed month Embedded with the grandeur of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and unquantifiable favors and blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is a month wherein world over Muslims are expecting the day, inshallah kareem, to come, inshallah, by the time they commence, it is involving either 29 or 30 days. These are embodiment of program made by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to honor the Ummah of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, among whom you and I are privileged. Now, what's my here to some? For someone to prepare, to plan, to strategize, he needs to know and understand the nitty gritty of some itself from Ramadan. Allah subhanahu wa taala gives it to you and I in Surah Al-Baqarah, verse one eighty three down to one eighty five. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. يا أيها الذين آمنوا كتب عليكم الصيام كما كتب على الذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتقون نعم أياما معدودات فمن كان من أو على سفر فعدة من أيام أخر وعلى الذين يطيقونه فدية طعام مسكين فمن تطوع خيرا فهو خير له وأن تصوموا خير لكم إن Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the most exalted, the most high says Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu all you who believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
kutiba alaykum musiyam Ramadan has been prescribed for you kama kutiba ala ladina min qabilikum as it was prescribed for the generations before you la'allakum tattaqun for you if you do that you become pious Allah says ayam ma'adudat Ramadan is made up of few days either 29 or 30 days but whoever witnesses Ramadan fali yasum let that person either a male or female a man or young inshallah or old let him try to observe the month now observing the month of Ramadan Allah made it compulsory for the Ummah of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam doing that if it is compulsory and it's an august visitor all of us are expecting this Ramadan inshallah Kareem, in a couple of days to come what are what are our plans are we actually ready coming from hadith of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam he stood on his pulpit and he said Amin once after a while Prophet Salaam repeated he said Amin after a while he said Amin and the Sahaba asked him Ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam what made you to say Amin whereas we did not see anybody talking to you Prophet Salaam said Jibril actually came to him and one of the three that concerns us about Prophet Salaam Jibril told him that whomever Allah gives the opportunity to see the month of Ramadan from the beginning to the end and the person did not see and uh, he didn't get forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala take the person far away from Rahma and cast him into hell and Prophet Sallam said Amin my brothers respected ones indeed Ramadan anything we believe that is worth doing it is actually worth doing well one will not get the grandeur of Allah in the month of Ramadan except the one and those who actually prepare ahead of the time. The best of preparation for you and I to know, we actually need to understand the excellence of Ramadan. If you know the excellence, then you attach the importance Allah SWT attached to Ramadan, you attach you to it. If you know the excellence of Ramadan, you know the grandeur of Allah SWT built up in the month of Ramadan, you actually understand the kind of preparation you need to make. The first preparation, as Prophet Sallam told us in that hadith, he told the Sahaba that this you are going to witness a very milestone by an august visitor coming from Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, and make sure you get emancipated from hell and get to Al Jannah. May Allah Subhanahu wa Taala do that to all of us to witness the forthcoming Ramadan, grant us Al Jannah, and Inshallah Kareem, give us more of our that inshallah excellence number one that you and i need to understand is that if a man a muslim if he had been sinning he had been doing a lot of things as all muslims but are but sinners this ramadan if he actually plans and gets the best out of ramadan the first thing allah SWT promises is that the person will be forgiven all his past sins of a while here allahu akbar in the hadith of abu huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu he said prophet sallam says Man sama Ramadana iman and wahti saba gufir Allahu ma taqaddam min dhambihi Whoever fasts the month of Ramadan hoping, believing in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and hoping for a reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the person will have all his sins for a year, past year forgiven by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala May Allah forgive all our shortcomings This is number one Number two Prophet Sallam for you and I to know the significance of Ramadan so that we plan for it ahead is that Ramadan itself, it gives bounties of opportunity, especially Al Jannah. Allahu Akbar. And Prophet Sallallahu said, reported by Abu Huraira himself, again, hadith of uh, Sahih Bukhari and Sahih Muslim. Prophet Sallallahu says, Iza dakhala Ramadan. Iza dakhala Ramadan. Whenever Ramadan sets in and the month, the Christian is cited, people start fasting the month of Ramadan. The next thing is that, Futihat Abu Jannah. Allah will command the angels to open all the doors of Al Jannah. And they will be told to also shut down all the gates, all the entrance of hell. Then, Wasufi Dati Shayatin. In another narration, Wasul Silati Ashayatin. All the jinns, Maradatil Jinn, Iblis himself, Grand Patron, and all the evils and devils from among the jinns, all of them will be incapacitated, they will be incarcerated, whereas the name of Allah SWT will rent the air. In that hadith, the scholars told us that even if you are not getting time to beg Allah for Al Jannah, for, the, for Ramadan to set in and you are alive, 
if you actually do the needful, inshallah, Kareem, you get the best place in Al-Jannah. Now, for you and I, at some point, some people are not praying. They are not doing the needful out of ibadah. But once Ramadan comes in, they will be there in the masjid or masajid. Not because of anything, because significantly, the first thing that made many people to run away from Allah is Shaitan himself. And Shaitan now is being incarcerated, is being incapacitated. All his agents are now chained down. No one, they will not be given the opportunity to go out until the month of Shawwal is cited. Now, respected elders, my brothers and sisters, we have a lot to our benefit. We are going further, the month of Ramadan, kind of temporary warning, so that people will have time to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, going forward, that are the support Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, for Muslims, organizations like al Anbab, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is using them now to give people a way forward and then preparing their mindset their lives, their times to invest it wisely so that they get grandeur of Allah SWT in this forthcoming Ramadan. Now, number three, part of what we Prophet Allah want us to carry along. When we, we know all this, inshallah, Kareem, we know what we are going to benefit in the month of Ramadan. Number three is that emancipation from, Al, from hell to Al Jannah. A lot of people ordinarily, before the coming of Ramadan, they are drunkard, womanizers, gamblers, astrologers, some people, all they do is to cause trouble for men trouble. Some are, are abscondies from Salat. Some, they drink alcohol. Some, they beat women. Some, a lot of atrocities. They commit slandering, backbiting, and so many things. But with, with the come of Ramadan, if they are able to, 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 to follow the instruction laid down by Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they start to gain immensely, and inshallah Kareem, they book themselves, from in the book of hell, they transfer the life uh, Abu Dhar al Kifari. Then we have Abu Sa'id al Khuduri. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu was told uh, to have said in the month of Ramadan to strategize, to plan for optimization. Now, part of this is Al Aruzak Muqaddara. Allahu Akbar. Allah makes provisions for us in the month of Ramadan. Your budget, my budget, the provision, your sustenance. My sustenance for the Ummah of Prophet Sallam and every living being. Allah SWT does that in the month of Ramadan without seeking approval or consideration from any national assembly or international assembly. As in Surah to Dukhan, Allah says, Inna anzalnahu fi laylatim mubaraka Inna kunna fi laylatim mubaraka Inna kunna munziri Hmm. Allah SWT says indeed we revealed Quran fi laylatin mubaraka during the night of a multi place Allahu Akbar multiple blessings of Allah SWT what concerns you and I Allah says fi a Fiha yufraku kullu amrin hakim During that night, the night of majesty Yufraku kullu amrin hakim All matters, all affairs of human beings More especially, more importantly The Ummah of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Especially those who are doing ihya with Laylat al-Qadri Those who are striving further to get more grandeur of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by way of doing nawafin, by recitation of Quran, by doing other acts of ibadah to get the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The angels of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will, will descend and Allah says, Min kulli am salamun here. For every matter, matter of our human being, matter of dunya, matter of akhirah, scholars told us that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala actually increases provisions for the children of Adam, more especially those who follow Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa during this night. Then, that is the Jaba for you and I, they are waiting for us. The grandeur of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala embedded in Laylatul Qadr, they are waiting for you and I. Another one that you and I need to understand is feeding the soul, those who are fasting. Prepare for yourself, likewise prepare for those who are going to fast, especially those who don't have the means, the downtrodden, the poor, the needy, Allahu Akbar Kabiro, there are a lot of aitam, orphans, there are a lot of widows, there are a lot of people who are living from hand to mouth. 
That is why Allah SWT significantly and deliberately Allah made some heart to be softened so that they will put the smiles on the face of the, uh, of the less privileged. One of those things Allah SWT uses, Allah will not descend himself to come and start feeding people. Allah will not descend himself to come and start sharing money. But Allah SWT uses some people, those who are chosen by himself. One of such, Allah SWT chosen also al fuad this is al halbab al halbab Islamic Foundation. Doing this is part of what Prophet Sallallahu says, Allah yu'minu ahadukum hatta yuhibba al-akhihi ma yuhibbu li nafsi. The Sheikh has been doing every Juma, they have been doing a lot of da'wah activities, but still institutionalizing this one is to get more run of Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala through inculcation and embedding, imbibing Sunnah of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and imparting that into other people. Now, coming from this, we have what Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala uses in the month of Ramadan as a way of honoring you and I. That is, Turn to turn uh, dust or waste to wealth. Allahu Akbar. Turning waste to wealth. Allah is turning all our wastage to wealth for us in dunya and akhirah. What the scholar says about that? In the hadith of Prophet, they looked inward and said, Hadith Prophet says, La khulufu fam sa'im. Atu yabinda Allah min rihil misk. The order, order coming from the mouth of a fasting Muslim. The way it sounds or it smells to us as something we detest in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala atuyab min rihil misk. It is far away, better. Smell, the fragrance is that of misk. In fact, more than misk in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Our saliva, the odor coming from our mouth, ordinarily, it shouldn't have been something to us. People will hate it. But in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, because Allah Himself knows the significance of the fasting. In the hadith of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, Kullu amal ibn Adam lahu illa saw. All act of ibadat you and I are doing before Ramadan, all act of ibadat whatsoever, the, the quantity and quality, the drop of every act of ibadat, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fahuwa lahu. It is for son of Adam. It is what you sow that you reap. Amma siyam. He said, "An agzibi, as saumuli, wa an aladi agzibi." But fast of Ramadan, li and other fast, it is my property. And agzibi, it is me, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, who determines, who gives, who allocates certain rewards and number of our uh, uh, excellence of rewards to those who fast. If you pray the salah, the imam, ma'amum, you have a stipulated number of our rewards said by Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. If you recite Quran, you have a plenty number of rewards. If you give, if you do this, do that. But for first, it's only Allah SWT Himself who gives the angel, write for this person this number, write for this person this agil, write for this person this grandeur. Reason is that if you are fasting and fasting, it is not written on our faces. Some people do abracadabra while fasting. Some, it is only the month of Ramadan, they forget to eat three times. They forget. You will forget to eat today. They tell him, next tomorrow you still forget because he's not used to fasting Mondays and Thursdays and other fasting. Now, you and I are expected by the Hadith of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to stand within which whatever we are going to do to make our Ramadan the best, then we are expected to do the same thing. Inshallah, Kareem. Now, religious, we have Intikaf. Intikaf in the month of Ramadan is another channel. Prophet Sallam, till he returned to Allah SWT, he devoted time for it and he used to do, some of his wife also did, even the Sahaba when he was alive and after his demise. Because of grandeur of Allah SWT. For whoever does the Intikaf, the peculiarity of Intikaf is that whoever does Intikaf, there is tendency, there is likelihood that that person will have the opportunity to see Laylatul Qadr because he is already in the Masjid Secluded with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, giving more thanks, worshipping Allah, Allahu Akbar, recounting favors of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, trying to help himself through Akhirah, Allahu Akbar. That person, the tendency that, inshallah, carry, by the time the angels of Rahmah descend from heaven, he will be captured in the masjid, he will be captured reading Quran, he will be captured doing other acts of ibadat. Now, how do you get, how do you strategize? We've known the significance of Ramadan. Salaamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We have known the significance of Ramadan. We know the nitty gritty and the embodiment of Rahmah of Allah in Ramadan. Now, how do we strategize? 
How do we plan so that we get the best out of this forthcoming Ramadan? Let us remind ourselves humbly with the Imam, Imam Abu Bakr al Raza al Al Bakari. He happens to be uncle of Imam Ahmad Tirmizi. He said, A Muslim is expected to have three things before Ramadan comes in self discipline, self control, and also what we call sacrifice. These three things, Muslims are expected to carry them forward. And I'm sharing this humbly, beginning with myself and to all of us, for us to get the best out of this coming Ramadan. Self-discipline. Number two, self-control. Number three, to also put sacrifice. That sacrifice now, vis-a-vis -vis empathy to those who are downtrodden and then those who are living are from hand to mouth. We are talking of these people because these are people of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, what are those things? Number one, al-ikhlas. Al-ikhlas, a Muslim is expected to have ikhlas. High spiritual level of elevation and sincerity for you to welcome the month of Ramadan. Number two is that Qadr of Mafata min Ramadan al Maldi. Those who are having two, three, five days, missed days from the last year Ramadan, they are expected to make up before this coming Ramadan. Especially our mothers, our sisters. They have their own ways, as naturally made by Allah SWT. Some did even before Sister Shawwal. Some they did not do. But before Ramadan will come in, they are expected to pay those days they missed. Number three, Al Ibti'ad and Al Ma'asi wal Jara'i. Muslims are expected to stay away completely, reduce the quantum of your sins. Invest your time on something that will make you to get al Jannah and optimize to get more faults and then manifest a realm of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What are those things? Stay away from alcohol. It is so appalling and mind boggling to hear that some Muslims go and drink alcohol. This is something Prophet Allah even told us Surah Al Ma'idah. Reach to Min Amali Shaitan. So, handy work of Shaitan. If someone did not quit, alcohol and the person lives until ramadan comes in it will be difficult for him to quit it some will go after tarawih some after if talk they will not even do tarawih they are going to smoke we're expected to have this time drop all these things if you are going to majlisi stop for two weeks. if you are not doing kiyamul late start joining now why especially al 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 mafrudo some people will fast they will not pray no you will not get the maximum rewards Allah SWT has marked for you. You are expected to get the best by observing your narwafil, tarawi, iftar. Sponsor people. You are fasting, you are giving yourself, then give the less privileged. And you can, one of the channels, you are expected, people are expected to use this al-albab. You sponsor their programs. You sponsor people, feed people. Allah SWT will feed you on the day of Qiyamah. You are given, given us an int in the Quran. That If you do that, you get more grandeur for Allah SWT after Ramadan, insha'Allah Kareem. Islaw al-alaqo, bainak wa bain al-ibad, wa rabbu al-ibad. We are expected to mend our grudges. One should not carry forward any grudges to Ramadan. If you are having prank with anybody, misunderstanding, forgive so that you will be forgiven. If you forgive, Allah will forgive you. But if you insist that, no, 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 I will never, even if my father comes back from Akira, if my mother rises up from the cupboard, I will never forgive the person. What if Allah chooses to forgive that person? Then the person will waste all his time in the month of Ramadan. Then you are expected to have jadwal, timetable for the month of Ramadan. There are a lot of things you need from Allah SWT. You have your own timetable. Don't always go and take a drug that you don't, 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 don't go to sleep. No? Don't go, don't go to take a drug that will make you to sleep. You are expected to, to streamline your actions, to be in consonance with the teaching of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So that, inshallah, Kareem, by the time Ramadan is over, you will be among the highly rated and then, inshallah, Kareem, opportunists to be in al to for doubt. May Allah make the outcoming Ramadan something that will be a milestone in our lives all together and then a challenge for al to for doubt. Subhanakallah wa bihamdi. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. As I started, I pray for our Sheikh and all the members, especially the Mumawilun and Muhsinun, those who are sponsoring all the activities of this are uh, August and all important association and organization. May Allah make all your rewards to be in Al-Jannah to Fudraus. Subhanakallah wa bihamdik. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun. Wa salamun ala al-mursaleen. Walhamdulillahi rabbil.